Thank you very much. We just attended a very important task force meeting on the virus. With the markets in freefall, President Trump tonight promising help for Americans worried about the economic impact of the coronavirus. I'm discussing a possible payroll tax uh, cut or relief, substantial relief, very substantial relief. That's a big, that's a big number. Uh, we're also going to be talking about hourly wage earners getting uh, help so that they can uh, be in a position where they're not going to ever miss a paycheck. The White House saying it's hearing what Americans are saying, that they are worried about their paychecks and bills if the coronavirus outbreaks get any worse. The president says he'll work with Congress to come up with the solution. So that they don't uh, get penalized for something that's not their fault. It's not their fault. It's not our country's fault. The announcement comes as Wall Street cratered today. The Dow Jones plunging more than 2,000 points, the worst day since 2008. And the big overarching theme right now is the coronavirus and the uncertainty surrounding it. If people are genuinely concerned about their retirement account, the most important thing to do is to speak to your financial advisor. And if you are 20 or 30 or 40 years old right now and you're learning about this, remember the time that you have on your side. You have 20, 30, 40 years until you plan to retire. The hardest hit industry so far, travel. For airlines alone, the real impact could be more than $100 billion in lost sales. The effect of this virus is very broad based and doing a lot of damage to the broader economy. If we're going into recession, we're probably there now, probably started this month. What tends to happen in recessions is that people and businesses stop spending money and the economy completely slows down and stalls out. And getting the economy back is a very tricky thing to do. Cases of coronavirus spiking in the U.S. over the weekend. There are now more than 700 cases of COVID-19 in at least 36 states. At least 26 people have died. Also developing tonight, at least three new deaths reported in Washington state. The nursing home crisis there. Most of the deaths in the state of Washington at the Life Care Nursing Home. We've had patients who within an hour's time show no symptoms to going to acute symptoms and being transferred to the hospital. And we've had patients die relatively quickly. The home spokesman saying the facility still does not have enough tests. We still are not testing our employees inside. We don't have test kits to do that. The administration now promising to roll out new tests, saying there could be as many as 5 million available by the end of this week. But the outbreak is quickly spreading, now nipping at Capitol Hill. Five members of Congress are now in self-isolation after coming into contact with an infected person. Two of those lawmakers also came in direct contact with the president in recent days. Have you been tested? Uh, I have not been tested for the coronavirus. Has the president, um, has the president been tested? The White House saying the president isn't personally worried about getting the virus. But several more states declaring emergencies. <coughs> In New Jersey, 32-year-old physician's assistant James Kai said he tested positive for the virus last week. He says the symptoms began after attending a medical conference in New York City. I start to cough and have fever, a shortness of breath. So I went to the urgent care, and in the beginning, they don't think I, I have anything because uh, coronavirus doesn't show on X-ray. Kai warns others not to underestimate the virus. Half of my lung is already pneumonia, not working, only half. So I don't know how, how much longer I have to keep my lung working. They are surprised it can be turned out that bad so quickly, and, and I'm so young. I don't drink, I don't smoke. New images tonight in the search for answers. Our station in Pittsburgh getting access inside this biosafety lab. One of a select few where researchers are working with the actual coronavirus racing to find a vaccine. The first step in determining how to stop a virus growing is paradoxically to grow it. They expect it to take a year to develop a treatment. In the state of New York, officials are dealing with the largest coronavirus outbreak in the country. At least 140 cases have been reported in the state. This is the hot spot, uh, one of the hot spots nationally. The result of the New York outbreak, a mass of closures. School districts in the area telling kids to stay home. 
nearby Hofstra and Columbia universities canceling all of their classes for the remainder of the week. Thousands of people have been asked to self-quarantine in New York. Officials reminding Americans that the most vulnerable are the elderly who need the most protection. If you love your grandchildren, for example, you don't want to go see your grandchildren if they happen to be sick, even with a common cold. Across the country in California, the Grand Princess finally pulling into port in Oakland. The ship greeted by a 10-acre triage complex of tents and buses ready to start moving the 2,400 passengers to quarantine facilities across the country. We have now arrived in Oakland and the first groups of individuals have begun to disembark. First off, the passengers and crew who tested positive for the virus, Canadian tourists and those from California processed thereafter, luggage being loaded onto U-Hauls. But it's a slow process. Priority disembarkation today will be given to guests with more urgent medical needs as directed by our onboard and shoreside medical team. Health officials are concerned these floating cities could be prime breeding grounds for the virus. They're packed with passengers, they have shared spaces and little escape. It's been kind of scary. It's been crazy. Asha Burgess and her boyfriend are on the Grand Princess with his parents. His parents are much older than us, obviously. They're in their late 70s, early 80s. His mom is not in the best of health all the time. Like, she's not sick. You know, but she's susceptible. Asha says the quarantine has been especially hard on the crew. The crew are probably terrified, too, because they're the most infected on the boat. So it's terrible that they have to keep running around and bringing food, bringing towels. We've sat on hold for toilet paper uh, the other day for almost two hours. And then we didn't get it until like four hours after we've been sitting on hold. The Grand Princess has been circling off San Francisco for five days. Of the 3,500 passengers and crew on board, 21 have tested positive, 19 crew members, and two guests. But not everyone has been tested. And if we've been exposed, we've been exposed, and there's not much we can do about it. Debbie Loftus has been documenting the quarantine. Many passengers frustrated at what they call the slow decision making. There are a lot of arrangements that we need to be made, but I'm not going to worry about that until I know for sure what the situation is. It's been more than a month since the world watched the debacle of the Diamond Princess quarantine in Japan. There, more than 700 people on the ship tested positive for COVID-19. Six of them died. Officials worldwide consider the experiment a failure. And yet, last Friday, President Trump was still in favor of leaving passengers aboard the Grand Princess. Well, to me, I would be inclined to say, leave everybody on the ship for a period of time and you use the ship as your base. But California Governor Gavin Newsom says the president has agreed with the decision to offload the passengers. President Trump has said that he would prefer if none of the passengers aboard these cruises landed on U.S. soil. Did he mention any of that to you? I had a private conversation with him and he said everything that I could have hoped for and every single thing he said they followed through on. But even as passengers get off the ship, they're not free. A handful have already been sent to hospitals for treatment. But everyone else is looking at at least 14 more days in quarantine at one of four U.S. military bases in California or Georgia and Texas. Patience is growing thin. I kind of feel like we're floating around the drain, just waiting here to get the virus. We haven't been tested. We want to be tested properly. And uh, we want to make sure uh, that we're safe. Tonight, the CDC still holding another cruise ship at sea off the Cayman Islands because two crew members on that ship, the Caribbean Princess, had worked on the Grand Princess and are now being tested. This has been kind of our little our little cage for a few days now, almost a week. For Nightline, I'm Matt Gutman in Oakland, California. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.